United Palace, built in the 1930s, currently landmark. The uh, owners of this United Palace wanted to have that decision overturned, but then later on they realized that it would be nicer to have it as it was. A really great designer designed and had this built in the 1930s, and they had all these movies and vaudeville shows in this United Palace. Right at 175th and Broadway. Just another view. It's actually really massive. And it's a good thing it was landmark because this is the kind of space that would have been taken down a long, long time ago. You can see what it looks like down Broadway. Now, um, about 10 blocks south of here is Columbia's, Columbia University's uh, health campus, where they have so many facilities for healthcare and for young doctors studying medicine. The George Washington Bridge is just a few blocks away from this United Palace. And then you can see in the distance the George Washington Bridge, the aquamarine colored part of a building. That's actually a part for the bridge for traffic to go over uh, to go to the bus station. But that's how centrally located this United Palace is. Just imagine in the 30s, 40s and 50s, this was a, a happening place. And then in the 60s, when cinema and big films started becoming less important, that's when the importance of this United Palace declined. And here we just see a closer view of the entryway. Just a fantastic interior. poster just shows how much how much of a beautiful interior it has now meanwhile around here they have like a little street fair continuously going on but that's good because they want to use the space in the right way beautiful facade, the beautiful architecture of this building. It's a good thing they did not tear it down. And here we'll just take a closer look at the facade. Of course, it needs a little work. You can see here the rust on the sign, the well-worn sign, but a lot of times when you have a building that's landmarked, the good intention is to landmark it. 
The problem that happens is you have to maintain it to a certain standard and that's always not so easy because it involves money and getting the money, applying the money, there's many things to do with the money. Pay staff, pay for the materials, it's not always easy.